Starting today with a little intention before we get started, just a reminder that this practice is completely up to you and uh, you're not holding me responsible for any of the poses. You're in good health and you are willingly, willingly doing yoga on your mat. All right, my friends, let's start with a nice seated position on the mat. Close your eyes. And take in a few just natural breaths of your own. Observe if they're long, short, deep, shallow, or something in between. Just notice. You're seated in a space that's alert. So your shoulders are over your hips and your head's tall, but you're not stiff or uncomfortable. Just you. Next time you breathe in, bring the palms together at the center of your chest. Thumbs are kind of against your sternum. And then bring the, the thumb, both thumbs actually, to the middle of the forehead. Just your third eye. And this. The third eye is, is a center of, they say, all knowing, but it's also a center of your own personal learnings, any teachings you have in your life. Teachings come not only from the schoolroom or college course, but also just from life experience. Summon it up today during practice. Let's let the hands come to the knees. Take a big breath in and exhale. Roll the shoulders down your back. Start to engage with your scapula. Inhale, reach your shoulders up. Exhale, lower the shoulders down. Take that a few more times. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, set the shoulders down. Inhale, inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, set the shoulders down. And just be. And then we'll, we'll bring the hands to the mat. You know, all fours, hands and knees. And in the space, tuck the toes under and start to walk your buttocks back towards your heels. Hands are on tops of the knees. And you're seated here and you're doing the best you can. This is a toe stretch. And, and for some bodies, it feels fine. For others, you might have arthritic toes, stubborn locked joints. And this is a real effort. Regardless of what it means to you, you breathe. And then right here, hands tent back into the mat. Flip the tops of the feet down, raise the arms up, take a breath in right here. Exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand and lean to the right side. Pause. Still root pretty firmly through the left shin. Inhale, raise both arms up. Exhale, take the same side bend the other way, letting your right shin root to the mat. Inhale, raise both arms up. Take a gaze up. Exhale, walk the hands down your thighs, onto the mat. All fours is where you are, and we'll drop through a few cow and cats. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, when you're ready, arch your spine. We're starting here to engage the ujjayi breath, the breath we use through practice. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Lips are sealed. It's like you're hissing or whispering the word ha with your mouth closed. Some liken it to fogging up a window. Or here in the ocean waves. Take one more of these cows. Tuck the toes under and send your sit bones high for downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet a little bit. You drop one heel, then the other. Push the mat away. And as you as you just feel your dog. And you can observe. Already observe what your intention is for this practice. And whether you're willing to, to let go. Let go of expectations of how the practice is going to go. How your body's going to feel. 
and what it's going to look like. Take another breath. And then start to walk the feet forward to the hands. And pause here in ragdoll. Head and shoulders are heavy. You might rock the head yes, rock the head no. Release the hands. A little softness. Hands can rest in the elbows. You can rest behind the thighs. You can even clench behind your back and the thumbs fall from your bum. Wherever you are, you pause and you breathe. You know, in many ways, my practice has been always presenting or, or teaching or guiding the community. And this whole sequence events has, has made it so that the community has to, has to kind of shrink or be guided in a different way. It's like I've started anew. I'm learning to teach again. So bear with me as you're learning to practice again. Let's take the fingers midway of your shins, lengthen the spine, look forward past the top edge of your mat. Think about your butt reaching back, your head reaching forward, your shoulder blades squeezing together. Exhale. Relax down a little bit. Let's do it again. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, release down. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, begin to roll your body up. You're unwinding, you're releasing, you're becoming. Hands extend towards the ceiling. And you breathe. Take another breath here. And we'll take the similar side bends that we did on the shins. This time, instead of your left shin pressing down, it's your left foot. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, you capture the other wrist and lean towards the left. Inhale, reach up. Extend the hands far. Exhale, take the hands behind the skull or they just bend and the fingers float into a back bend. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, you fold forward over your feet. Pause again. Sometimes you're eager to go. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Remember this. Exhale, fold completely. Put the hands in the mat and step back. Top of the push-up. Pause on the top of the push-up. Hug your belly in. Just be. You're rooting through the fingertips. But it's almost like you're holding a jar with each hand. There's this little bit of distance between your knuckles and the mat. Claw the floor. Hug your belly. If your knees had to come down, you know what they did. And then stick your butt high in the sky, downward facing dog. Just pause and be. And from here, we'll take an inhale. Exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. Pause. Take another breath in. Exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand and sit low here into a yogi squat or a malasana pose. Ground through your feet. Inhale, push through your feet. Reach the hands to the sky. Exhale, step the feet together and bring the hands to heart center. We begin again. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, take the side bend over the right side. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, let the arms rise. Exhale, grab the other wrist and lean to the side. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, press the chest towards the ceiling. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, you take a fold over the feet. Pause and observe. Inhale, extend the spine, fingers and the shins. Exhale, your hands plant on the floor. You step back again into the top of the push up, and here, you're once again in class. Notice these pauses. Pauses can be maddening. Pauses can be constructive. Pauses can be neutral. Take an inhale. Exhale, sit bones, go to the sky. Breathe. Take an inhale, exhale. Now the left foot, it steps outside the left hand. You pause, you might even lift the chest slightly. 
Take another breath in. Exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand and sit low in your Malasana squat. If your fingers need to stay in the floor to give your knees a little relief, let it happen. Keep pressing through the feet. Inhale, stand up super tall, hands to the sky. Exhale, let's bring the hands together at the heart and the feet together. We'll do this again, but one breath, one movement. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take a side bend up over to the right. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, side bend up over to the left. Inhale, the arms reach up high. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest. Inhale, raise the arms, exhale, fold it over your feet. Inhale, fingers crawl halfway up your shins. Exhale, the hands plant and you make your way back to the top of the push-up. You take a breath in, exhale, sit both high, down dog. Breathe. Exhale, step the right foot outside of the right hand. Inhale and exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand, sit low. Take a breath in to rise up. Exhale, set everything back together one more time. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, side bend over the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend over the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold over your feet. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, put up the hands. Make your way back to the top of the push up. Pause for an inhale. Exhale, sit bones go high, down dog. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand. Take a breath in. Exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. Sit low with your groin towards the floor. Inhale, push through the feet, rise up. Exhale, the hands come heart center. And pause here at the top of your mat. Take another breath in and another breath out. Inhale, bend your knees. Reach your arms up, coming into a classic Utkatasana. And whatever your Utkatasana looks like, embrace it. If it's your first one, it may not look very good. It's okay. Laugh at it. Take another inhale. Exhale, so sink a little deeper. Breathe in. Exhale, fold over straight legs. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Put your hands on the mat. Step back. Bend the elbows to hover. Slide to the tops of the feet to breathe in. Exhale, toes under, sit so bones high. Down dog. Let's inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, send it between the hands. Rise up into a crescent lunge. So you're bent into the right knee, the arms reach up, the shoulders over the hips. Your left hip pushing forward, right hip pushing back. Take another inhale. Exhale, let the hands come to heart center. Round the left foot and lean down into what we call skandasana, a side lunge. It's like a speeder lunge. Take another exhale here. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, into thunderbolt. Arms by the ribs, head reaching forward. Back ankle crease pressing towards the back of the rib. Take another. Exhale. Inhale, leave the right hand back here. And touch the left thigh. Left arm to the sky. Relax the left shoulder to revolve reverse warrior. A little twist for the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Hug your belly as the hands come to the mat. Step yourself back into the top of the push-up, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift into the heart for an up dog. Tops of the feet and palms only. Exhale, toes under, sit bones high. Down dog, pause. And from here, from here we'll inhale with the left leg rest. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Let both arms rise up, it's the crescent lunge. Sink a little deeper. Push the right hip forward, engage this crescent. The exhale brings the hands heart center as you side lunge over the right leg. And you just got Nasana here. Torso is lifted. Fingers right tent to the floor. Inhale, rise all the way up, pivot towards the front of the mat. Arms by the ribs, you're on the ball of the back foot. You're back into your thunderbolt. Breathe in, breathe out. The next time you're ready to breathe in, your left hand comes back, your right arm reaches high. This is the revolve reverse, and it's, it's somewhat of a twist. Breathe in again, exhale, hands come to the mat. Make your way back through the push-up. Slide into the back bend, the up dog. Exhale, toes under, sit bones high, down dog. We'll try again, inhale, right leg rest. Exhale, 
Exhale, foot comes between the hands, soft landing. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, come on over into your side, lunge your scud, that's back. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, pivot the toes and sweep the arms back, thunderbolt. Inhale, left arm high, right hand back, revolve reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat. Make your way back into the push-up, the up dog, the heart lift, the down dog, the buttocks go high. Inhale, left leg rise. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale into your crescent lunge. Exhale, slide over to the right. Skandasana as the pose. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, pivot your toes, sweep the arms back, your thunderbolt. Inhale, left arm back, right arm high, revolve reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step on back through your push-up. Slide into your up dog, lift your heart. Exhale, toes under, sit bones high. Down dog, breathe in. One more time, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, slide it between the hands. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Exhale, skim over to your skandasana. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, pivot to arm sweep back. Inhale, right arm back, left arm high, revolve reverse. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Make your way back through the push-up, sliding into the up dog. Exhale, into the down dog. Take one more time through, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through, find your rhythm, rise up. Exhale, over into your side lunge. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, the thunderbolt. Inhale, right arm comes high, left hand back, revolve reverse. Exhale, hands to the mat. Push up position, pause right there. Tent your fingers just slightly, just the subtlest bit. Press through the hands, strong through the backs of the shoulders, hug your tummy. And then from here, go straight to downward dog. Yet again, step the right foot outside the right hand. Step the left foot outside the left hand. Sit low in Malasana, getting a nice knee and hip joint activation. Press through the feet, inhale, rise up. Exhale, step the feet together, hands from heart center. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. It's in parentheses on our sun salutation letter B. Take another moment here, exhale, sink a little deeper. Breathe. Take an inhale. Take another exhale. Take an inhale, sink into the right leg, make sure the right foot has all its weight, and just lift the left heel so the toes of the left foot are in the floor. Another inhale. Exhale, step back into the thunderbolt. It's where we were for the last ending posture. Take another exhale. Inhale, here we go, finishing that last sequence with the left arm high and the right hand back. It's a revolve, reverse. One more, inhale. Exhale into warrior two. Ground the back foot, hands front and back of the mat. Take a gaze over the right middle fingers and breathe. One more inhale, exhale, curl little around the right foot, step back into the yoga push-up. Slide into the up dog, exhale for down dog. Right here to even out the sides. Take a breath in, lift the left leg. Exhale, send it outside the left hand. Take a breath, look forward, exhale, feet together. You're low, opening up your knee and hips. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, step the feet together, hands, heart center. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms. It's the chair pose. And you might remember, you might not. Take an inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, step the right foot back this time into your thunderbolt. Breathe. Revolve, reverse, left hand back, right arm to the sky. Again, a little back bend, twist. One more inhale. Exhale, open into warrior two. Hands reach from back. Take a few breaths here. We'll take a final inhale. Exhale, curl really around the left foot. Make your way back through the push-up. Slide into the up dog, lift your heart. Exhale to the downward facing dog. Breathe. Both feet this time, they can tiptoe, they might float, or you might just step one foot at a time, but we're coming forward into your forward fold. No squat this time. 
Take an inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms, Utkatasana. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, step it back into Thunderbolt. Inhale, the revolve, reverse, right hand back, left arm high. Exhale, warrior two. Here's where we'll add on. We'll take it to a sky archer. So the right leg strains, right arm to the sky. Left hand grabs hold of the forearm or the wrist. Press your right hip towards the front of your mat. Take another, inhale. Exhale, we'll bend into the right knee. Right elbow inside the thigh. Left arm shooting past your ear for a beautiful side angle. Right fingers might not touch the floor, that's okay. But notice if you're dumping into this left, I'm sorry, this right thigh, or if the hand is light and loose, your core is holding you up. Take another inhale and another exhale. Inhale, a five-pointed start at the side edge of your mat. Right here, sparkle out your fingers, sparkle out your toes. Bend your knees, sit low into horse. Rock it out a little bit. Sometimes we have a place where we go, but we're reluctant to go deeper. I bet you can. Hands might even come to the insides of the knees to feel the posture. Straight head to the sky. Take another exhale. Inhale, go ahead, straighten the legs. Bring the feet so they're parallel. Toes might even turn in. And then fold from the hips, hands to the floor, head to the mat. B in the pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your hands walk around the left foot. Now you're facing the back of the mat. Bend into the left knee. Take a breath in and allow the left arm to twist up to the sky. Dragonfly, it's a familiar pose. It's in a lot of the practices because it's so great at lengthening and twisting the spine. One more inhale, exhale, hand to the mat. Take a breath in, look forward, exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left. Bend your knees, reach your arms up, it's chair pose, Utkatasana, breathe. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, just come to the tiptoe of the right foot. Exhale, step it back into your thunderbolt. Take a breath. Inhale here. One more exhale, inhale, left hand back, right arm high, revolve, reverse. Pause. Then open into your warrior two, hands front and back, bend into the left knee. Sky archer poses neck, straighten the left leg. Right hand grabs the wrist or the forearm and you lean back. Your left hip is, is doing its darndest to press towards the front, the new front of your mat. Take another inhale. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Allow the left elbow to come inside as the right arm sweeps past the ear. Again, it's like you're leaning back. Keep your one long line from your outer right foot to the tip top of your head. Gaze up towards your right armpit. One more, exhale. Inhale, take your five-pointed star. Toes turn out, hands sparkle. Exhale, bend deep into your horse. And this time, lift your heels, both of them at the same time, and challenge yourself to sink a little deeper. Take another exhale. Inhale, straighten everything, feet parallel. Take a fold over your legs. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. You might grab the ankles, the legs. Draw yourself in a little bit. Challenge yourself to do that. Then bring the fingers to the hardwood floor, the carpet, just off your mat a little bit. Exhale, pivot the toes to the original front. Bend into the right knee. Here you are in your low crescent lunge. Left fingers stay in the floor, right arm twists up, dragonfly. Relax the right shoulder from the ear. Be okay exactly where you are. Take another inhale. Exhale, hand to the mat. The inhale steps the left foot forward to meet the right. Knees bend, arms rise, you're back in your chair poses. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, step it back into Thunderbolt. Inhale, come into revolve, reverse, left arm high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sky archer, grab the wrist. Exhale, bend the right knee, coming into side angle. Inhale, straighten the whole body out. Exhale, sink into horse, come low. Inhale, rise. Exhale, feet parallel. You just come on down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk to the back of your mat. Bend the left knee. Inhale, left arm twist. 
Exhale, hand to the mat. Inhale, balance here in half moon. Pause. Exhale, feet cross. Sciatic stretch. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your feet out. Exhale, sit down. Set it up for cow face. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, fold. From here, inhale. Unwind your legs, coming into a variation of boat. Exhale, rock. Inhale, rise. Exhale, inhale. You're doing a lot of these rock and rolls until you feel ready to come all the way up to your chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Inhale, right go left. Exhale, coming into your thunder. Inhale, revolve, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sky arbiter, straighten the left side body. Exhale, bend the left knee, side angle, look up. Inhale, sparkle to the side of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees and sink. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, feet parallel as you fold. Find your rhythm, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk around the right foot. Inhale, right arm twists up. Exhale, hand comes down. Inhale, half moon. Breathe. Exhale, sciatic stretch. Leg crosses behind. Separate the feet, taking a halfway lift. Exhale, sit. Inhale, grab your toes, grab the ankles. Stack the legs. Exhale, cow face. Pause. Pause. Inhale, coming into boat. Remember, you can arrange it. If you're falling off your mat, it doesn't mean you have to give up. Perfection is an illusion. Start to rock back. Exhale, rock. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale, chair pose. One more time. Exhale, sink. Inhale, left heel lift. Exhale, step yourself back into the thunderbolt. Inhale, revolve, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sky archer. You're like a celestial being. Exhale, bend the right knee. Coming into side angle. Inhale, sparkle. Exhale, sink. Come low. Inhale, rise. Exhale, feet parallel, fold. Pause. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands around the left foot. Bend the left knee. Inhale, left arm twist. Exhale, hand comes to the mat. Inhale, balance on the left leg. Coming into half moon. Pause as you stack and flex. Exhale, sciatic stretch. Pause. Take an inhale, halfway. Exhale, separate the feet. Sit down best you can into cow face. Stack once you're there. Take a breath in to rise. Exhale and fold. Next time you rise up, unwind your feet, sinking back into your boat pose. Whatever it looks like. Take an inhale. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. One. Last time, chair pose. Exhale, sink. Inhale, right heel lift. Exhale, coming into the thunderbolt. Inhale, revolve, reverse. Exhale, you got a warrior two. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, bend the left knee. Have a sink, breathe. Inhale, star. Exhale, bend your knees and sit. Inhale, rise. Feet are parallel. Toes can even turn in. Fold it over. Halfway lift here. Fingers on the mat or the floor. Walk your hand around the right foot. Bend the right knee. Sink on down. Inhale, right arm twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, balance on the right leg. Come up right here. Half moon. Arvashandrasana. Exhale, sciatic stretch. Inhale, halfway lifts you, walks your feet out. Exhale, 
lands you down into your cow face. Lift your chest. Exhale and fold. Pause and breathe. And then the next time you rise up, we'll come to boat and we will stay in boat. Right here, arms alongside you, feet dangling, shins parallel, legs elevated. Pause and ask yourself where you are right now. And how is your pause? Is it neutral? Is it productive? Is it something you can't wait to get out of? And just if you're caving through your upper body, broaden your collarbones, lengthen, breathe right here, bring the hands to heart center. Take an inhale, exhale, twist over to the left side, thumbs stay at the center of your chest. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist it over to the right side. Inhale to center. Exhale, coming into your low boat or your hovering boat. Heads just above the floor, feet are just above the floor. If this is hurting your back, let your spine come down to the floor. And in five, in four, make sure you're breathing. In three, in two, in one, lower all the way down. Now something happens here. Your back takes a moment or two to adjust. If it's giving you searing pain, bend your knees and just close your eyes for a few moments. If it's simply working itself out, see if the arms and legs can stay long. Remember, coming back to the third eye, the very beginning of practice, you know your body. Sometimes we lose the connection, but you know when something doesn't feel right. You know when something's just challenging. Honor those signals. Take another inhale. This time, point the toes. Reach the arms super long. Exhale, rising back up into boat. Inhale when you're there. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Lowering down into the half boat, the canoe, the arda, navasana, whatever you want to call it. Use your abs to hold you up. If your back is screaming, come down to the back to, to lay on the mat. You're not proving anything here. You're doing the best you can today. One more. Breath in. Exhale. Release down. Pause. Observe. If there's pain, Instinctually, allow yourself to release from it. Right here, my friends. Bend your knees. And pause with bent knees. Lower back. Let it feel the floor. Inhale. Raise the arms overhead. Lift the hips up. It's a floating style bridge. Exhale, lower the hips back down, arms alongside you. As you move through this, this is not about getting the biggest, baddest arc to the spine that you've ever gotten. Exhale, lower the hips. It's about stretching out through the center of the body, bringing the natural waves in your system. Time lift your hips, arms overhead. Exhale, lower the hips down and pause. Wiggle it out right here. We'll hug both knees into the chest. Move slowly, you're changing the position of the back, and always that can create a little discomfort behind to it. Stay here with the knees bent for another breath or two. And then go ahead, let the feet come back down, leaving your right foot into the mat. Lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Hands just cut behind the calf here. 
It's like the knee, the hip, the ankle are all in one line. Plank the toe and flex. Do this a couple times. Remain in a flexed position. We'll cross the left ankle over the right knee and push the thighs away for a moment. You might have to walk it out a bit. Sometimes things stick to the mat. Urge to pull the right leg in. Go ahead and thread the hands to the keyhole. Hold under the thigh or in front of the shin. One is not right, one is not wrong. What creates the sensation you desire? There's a lot of yoga practices and yogis out there that think it's their way or no way. Why don't you try? Try in everything and then find what suits you. It may take you dozens, hundreds, thousands of practices. But again, it's a practice, it's not a perfect. Whatever you're holding on to, release it. Allow the right leg to reach towards the ceiling. If you can, the hands come outside behind the calf and you pull the leg towards you. Some of you might be able to bring the knee and the forehead together. Some of you might be far away like me. Both are okay. Take another exhale. Inhale. Release the head down, release the leg, release the left leg down. Just rock it out so the hips get a chance to reassimilate to the mat. Left knee stays back this time and inhale, let the right leg rise. And when you do, crap, capture just behind the calf. I'm sorry, that's behind the thigh. And then point and flex the toe a couple times. If it's easy for you to capture behind the calf, you can. Just avoid the knee joint, that encourages a bend. It's a lot of pressure. You can rotate it, move it around a little bit. It's always nice to love the ankles. And then cross the ankle over right here. Hand presses on the thighs just to create tension, even in this fine position. You could stay here. There's nothing that says you have to change positions. And from here, we'll optionally lift the left leg. Grab under the thigh or in front of the shin, whichever creates the sensation you want. Continually pushing the right knee away from you, not with your hand, not with force, but with this gentle mind and control. I notice if you if you cue into what you're feeling, the sensations become a lot greater. yourself feel. Oh my gosh, one more breath. And here we go. We'll take the left leg up. Option to hold underneath the back of the calf. If this is too aggressive, continue with the leg on the floor. Continue with the, the pose we were just in. Pulling your leg toward you, your head lifts up. It may be a really, really small range of motion. comes down, the leg comes down, you unwind, and again you let the hips just kind of settle. And the pose. You are where you are. Allow the legs to, to extend long on the mat out in front of you. From here, pull your, your right knee in towards your chest. You can grab underneath the knee or underneath the thigh, whatever suits you. Draw it in and it may even come slightly to the outside of your rib cage, so closer to your right armpit. And then from here, your right hand, peace fingers capture the big toe or you grab to the outer side of the foot. If your toe's a little sensey, grab the foot. It's a half happy baby. Your left hip is, is still strongly in the mat, the back edge of it, and the right back edge of the hip is in the mat as well. You're pausing here, letting the sink happen through the inner thigh. 
If holding the foot is a little too aggressive, hold on to the inside of the knee. See if you can footprint just this way onto the ceiling. It's like a half squat. Take another exhale here. Then inhale, your left hand grabs the outside of the ankle, the outside of the calf, the outside of the thigh. And you simply take this leg and draw it across your body. The knee can stay bent, the right arm reaches, or the leg extends. Both shoulders are down. In your head, it might go and look at the right leg. I'm sorry, at the right arm. Breathe. yourself come back to center, pull the right knee in, extend it out long, and then here let the left knee come in towards your armpit, and you come outside the foot or around the big toe, again, determine what feels best, try to anchor both back sides of the hips to the floor, and gentle pressure draws the hip down, remember nothing should elicit pain here. And if something doesn't look exactly like what I'm doing, well then, that's okay. I don't pretend to be the epitome of, of what a pose has to look like. Breathe. See if you can relax a little into it, find heaviness to the backs of the hips, to the backs of the shoulders. Here, it's your right hand that grabs hold of the foot and it draws across your body. This side might feel very different than the other. Leg extends, shoulders settle onto the floor. Your head may turn and look left. Most importantly, you breathe. Remember, if you can't breathe steadily in a posture or in life, you can draw. And just slowly bring the left leg in, send it out on its way. For a little evenness sake, bring both knees in towards your armpit creases, hands on the bottoms of the feet for a full happy baby. Nobody wants a half baby. Push the knees towards the floor, hands are heavy. You can capture the big toes, you can capture the outsides of the feet, hold on to the insides of the knees. Just a little casual upside down to again get into the hip complex. One more exhale. Inhale, release, let your legs grow long. And settle for a few. Wiggle it out. If the knees need to bend here, the knees need to bend. You'd rather lay on your side, on your belly. You lay on your side, you lay on your belly. This is your opportunity to find a little peace and to be good with the fact that you gave it a good try. It's so, so much better to try than to sit on the sidelines and wonder what if. Another breath, relax the backs of the shoulders, the backs of the hips. Soften more, hands may fall away, and know, know that this is your time. Here, I'll return my hands to the third eye, the thumbs, and say, Namaste. Stay. 